Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are going to be showing you how to make chicken and dumplings. Cue the music. Alright, well thanks a lot for joining us again. If this is your first time watching us, please do me a favor. Go down below there, hit that subscribe button in the corner, and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, like I said, we're gonna be making chicken and dumplings today. Let's head into our kitchen and check out what our ingredients are. We're gonna start out with olive oil, onion, carrots, garlic cloves, chicken, butter, all-purpose flour, chicken broth, heavy cream, salt and pepper, thyme, and bay leaf, and then some frozen peas. And then for our dumplings, we're gonna have flour, baking powder, salt and pepper, and heavy cream. I will put all the specifications and measurements for the recipe down in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. And we also have our handy dandy pot that we're gonna cook all of this in. So with that being said, let's hit in the prep table over here and start getting to work. All right, we're gonna start out with what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our vegetables first and get those in the bowl here. Start out with our onion. We're just gonna cut up our carrots too. I'm gonna to go ahead and give these a nice dice. We're just gonna add these right into our bowl there. And last but not least, we're just gonna get our garlic in there as well. And this will go into our vegetables as well. All right, we got our chicken. I got some of this grilled chicken breast strips here. I'm gonna use the whole bag. It is 12 ounces, that's close to our we want. Now this is cut into strips and it is already cooked. It's still a little bit frozen because I forgot to pull it out on time, but we're going to use that to our advantage because we're just going to cut it into nice cubes and since it is already kind of frozen, it will make it easier to cut. So there you go. I'm going to cut the rest of this up and get it in the bowl and we'll go from there. All right, we have got our chicken cubed and ready to go right here. It, it is cooked. And then we've got our celery, well, then we've got our carrots, our garlic, and our onion in this bowl. We're gonna take this over to our stove. We're gonna start cooking up these chicken and dumplings. All right, so I got the oil hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add our carrots and onions and garlic in there. We're basically just gonna sweat these down. All right, we're gonna do our dumplings. We've got our two cups of flour. Then I'm just gonna take our baking powder here, and we're gonna give one tablespoon of the baking powder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up before we add our liquid. So it's combined well. Same with our salt and pepper, about a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna go ahead and combine that as well to incorporate all of that so there's no gaps in there in flavor. And then we basically just put in our heavy cream, which is a cup and a half. I'm gonna put a cup in, stir that. And then the other half a cream, or half a cup of cream in there as well. And we're just gonna stir this up until it becomes one nice solid mass of dough. And there's no flour left. I mean, there's no loose flour left. I'm gonna get a glove on and do this. Just easier to do this with a glove than it is with a spoon. Let 
basically just want to have a nice dough ball because we're going to tear off a little bit and we're going to put them into the liquid in the pot and get the boiling and let those cook. So there we go, our, our dough ball is ready to go. Let's go back to our stove now. Oh, that is fragrant, very, very fragrant. The onions are translucent, the carrots are getting softer. We've sweated these nicely. There's a little bit of liquid in there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our chicken because it's just a little bit frozen still. And I wanna melt that up and see if we're lucky enough to get a little bit of juice out of that chicken. Not that it's chicken stock per se, but it's still good to secrete a little bit of that liquid out of the chicken to add a little bit of flavor in there. I'm gonna let that set for a minute. All right, we got that chicken, the onion, the garlic, and the carrots in there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw our five tablespoons of butter in there. I'm gonna let that melt. I'm gonna cover it back up. Now I forgot, as our butter is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna throw our two bay leaves in there as well. And I'm gonna add our thyme. If you drop any of the stems in there, you can certainly pick them out. It's not a big deal. They come out easily. I like to take the whole thing out of thyme here and sprinkle in what's on the bottom because it's already shaken out a little bit. And then you can just kind of take the little leaves off. Anybody finds a stem in their food, you can just tell them it's homemade. You're not using the dried up stuff. So we can pick those out too. The recipe only called for a teaspoon anyway of dried thyme, but I like the fresh. I can already smell it in there, so we can add more if we want to. That's enough to kick in some flavor though. What I do with my spoon. Ah. Just stir this up so everybody can get to know each other again. Everybody knows I'm a proponent of adding the seasonings before we add the flour to the roux. So I'm gonna let that do that while the butter is still melting. Everybody can kind of get to know each other before we add the roux. Cover that back up and we'll let it sit for a minute. All right, butter has melted. That smells so good. The onions are cooked even more. The carrots are softer. Colors change a little bit. They're a little dull now, so. We got our oil, or butter in there. It's six tablespoons of flour. Since we got five tablespoons of butter in there. So I'm gonna add that in there. Stir this all up. We're making our roux with the Singer method. Which is to add the flour to the fat in the pot. Instead of making the roux on the side, you're making it in the pot with the ingredients instead of separately, then adding it into it. So I'm just gonna let this sit for just a minute and let that cook. All right, getting a little sticky on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and add six cups of water. Six cups of water. To that water, I'm going to add our chicken stock here to make the chicken broth, all right? Colors change, we got the chicken broth going in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add one half of a cup of our heavy whipping cream in there. I'm gonna switch out now to our whip, just so I can be sure that that flour is all incorporated and helps to thicken this. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on this, turn the heat up just a bit, and we're just gonna let that cook for a little bit. All right, you can see it coming to a boil. It is thickening up. So I'm gonna add our peas now. About one and a half cups. That's going to cool it down a little bit too, so just remember that. I'm going to bring that up to a boil, and once it does, we're going to turn that down. Okay, we got it back up to hot and boiling again. 
those peas kind of cool things down. Now I want to take our dumplings we've got made here. I'm going to turn this down to a simmer too. I forgot to say that. We're just going to let this simmer. We have our dough. You can do this if you want to. I just like to do this. Whoops, especially working with camera equipment. I just kind of wet my hands so the dough doesn't stick. Take a little ball out of there, about an inch thick, or about an inch big. You want to just roll it up to get this. That's why you wet your hands because it just kind of keeps it from sticking. You should get about 15 little dough balls out of here. You just pop them in there. You don't want them to touch. Alright, there we go. All our dumplings are in. I'm going to cover this up. 15 minutes. Make sure it's on simmer. There we go. 15 minutes. We'll see what it looks like. Alright, our buzzer has gone off. There is our beautiful chicken and dumplings. Those dumplings came out pretty nice. Swelled up. Doughy. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to put this in a bowl. We're going to take some awesome photos of it for social media. We're going to put those pictures into our timeline with some groovy music. And then we are going to come back and we are going to give this a taste. So, enjoy the pictures and enjoy the music. Fantastic, thick and rich. Those dumplings turned out beautifully. I'm gonna get a little taste of the the chicken part of it before I eat the dumpling. Very very hot. And that's really really good. That chicken didn't hurt that we didn't cook raw chicken and then add it using up pre-made stuff that we need to add. That's what I'm here for. Part of the concept of this show, It's Only Food with Chef John Polite, is to show you how to make dishes that are complex, but a way to do it that you don't have to do it from scratch. Scratch, scratch, as we say. You know, a lot of us are busy, so I'm trying to show you a different way to do things that'll help you out in the kitchen and also help you feed your family or yourself without all that time, because a lot of us are busy. So there's a little dumpling right there. I'm gonna try that now. Cooked perfectly, very tender, moist, airy, uh, good flavor in all of this. Those peas kind of add a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. mm. Very, very good. Remember the recipes down below chicken and dumplings. Thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out that description box on your way out. Not only does it contain the recipe for this show, but it also has a bunch of groovy links. I have a gourmet seasoning shop on Etsy and also have a cookbook on sale. Those links are down there. Don't forget to check out the playlist I've got down there for how to create a cooking show on YouTube and also a playlist link for how to improve your channel and help it grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already and then make sure you share this video with everyone, everyone that you know. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.